Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday here, 17th May. Incredibly frustrating week, I have to say. Let's go over what happened yesterday. Equities traded up to 28.92. We are clinging. We are clinging to core shorts still. Um, but man. What a ridiculous uh, 70, no, 52 handle move yesterday from the lows. But uh, couldn't close above 2,900. We talked about it. We think we think stocks are going to have a hard time getting above 2,900. They haven't. Here we are at 2,870. Uh, we were offering 84s last night. Did not get paid annoying um, here we are uh, core short still the way you gotta trade this for an average uh, and you gotta be nimble very very hard to make money uh, or good real money with this kind of market uh, but we're we're clinging to our core short uh, prognostication Let's look at Aussie and all the commodity currencies. Just smashed. This is basically because people are starting to really worry about China. Offshore, offshore renminbi, dollar CNH um, was up at 93 last night. Let's look at where it is now. Oh, fuck, look at that. 694.12 if this gets above 7 it's it's insanely bad uh, it's going to have a tough time getting up through there you can just look at the dailies here going back to forever put up the weeklies 7 um, is like a magic number here and it's hard to understand what's going on, whether the Chinese are letting this devalue in case there are tariffs, so their goods still remain cheap to Westerners. Um, that's my guess. So, but anyway, weakness, big, big weakness here in China, which is uh, hurting all of the uh, commodity and commodity currencies. So Aussie on its knees, uh, that's the weekly, but now we're one, two, three, four, five red days. Kiwi couldn't get out of its own way yesterday. Looking at this uh, 65, 26 low for the year, uh, 12 points away. Dollar CAD frustratingly also pops up to 134.72, even though Canadian numbers are through the roof. Uh, the economy looks very, very strong and very underpriced to us. But it's just all of these commodity currencies are a Chinese proxy. So, 6526 will be interesting just because it's the low of the year. There's probably some money to be made there in Kiwi. Um, so, let's keep an eye on that. In Euro. We thought euro was going to go higher today, but with this dollar CNH bid, euro goes lower. No big deal. Ten point range last night, so nothing's really going on in euro. Um, the key level on the top side is 112.26, but also now, like we talked about yesterday, 112.25 was our point where we were going to add euros. We got up there, we didn't get through. Um, we will have those 27 entries in there today in case uh, dollar CNH turns, which seems quite unlikely. Dollar yen is caught in the middle here. Uh, the general dollar bid took us up to 110 last night, but now this risk off worry for the world uh, is taking us lower. 109.70. This isn't a downtrend, so that we do think this is a sell-on rally. 
We talked about selling between 80 and the figure last night, but we were just out of energy. Um, trying to hold steady with our stock position and our dollar CAD frustrating us to the gills. But this does look like sell on rally still. Uh, same thing today. You know, you could sell it around 110 to figure if we get up there. We have no data today, uh, literally none. We do have Australian elections this weekend, so if you're going to go into the weekend with an Aussie position, be careful with that. Ecofin is meeting. Oh, I guess we have Euro CPI, final CPI. Very little volatility on that release normally, so we're not too, too excited uh, about that. Quickly to cable. Also just getting smoked very much like the Aussie but this is, is this is not a Chinese story this is this is a Tory story or a Corbyn story or a lack of leadership story basically if May gets booted the whole world is saying oh shit we got Corbyn or we got some lunatic uh, who might some lunatic a bull in a China China shop type guy who might go for a hard Brexit one of these Tory fellas um, this is obviously not good for Sterling and the market has been unrelenting very similar to the um, Kiwi this isn't the year's low the year's low is 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 126.74 but 127.75 is, is the low from the first quarter. Got to watch that. Um, surely there should be support first time. Uh, but second time through, just probably close your eyes and sell it for a few pips. It's getting very, very stretched here. So unless the news is incredibly bad, um, which there's no economic news from the UK, it'll have to be political. Uh, be careful selling this now. It's it's now getting a bit silly. But keep your eye uh, on this level. 127.75, 15 points away. Crude's higher. Um, what can you say? Looks, looks pretty bid. Um, there's some supply issues that might keep this bid. As long as this thing stays bid and starts shooting higher... We're in this range in equities. So, you know, you you can buy 50s today or 45s today, sell 85s um, type thing. This is not going to, equities are not going to fall out of bed while crude is uh, sitting at 63 bucks. So keep your eye on crude, but right now it's bid. Uh, we're all waiting for 6070 as our little telltale sign. Um, to smash that thing. All right, not too inspiring here uh, on this Friday with no data and currency's a little bit confusing to me, but just wish you good luck out there and, and a good weekend and uh, I will catch you catch you on Monday. Ciao.